Hello and welcome back. Uh, I'm sorry for the delay. I've been meaning to put out some more guide videos but haven't had a chance. I'm a bit more active on my blog which you can find the link to in the description below. Today's experiment was to figure out how much water grain generally absorbed prior to sterilizing. The objective of hydrating grain is to get as much moisture inside the grain as possible without splitting them. For those who don't know, grain spawn is something mushroom growers make to expand their mushroom culture before either expanding it again or inoculating their substrate with it. Grain gives the mycelium a greater surface area, adequate hydration, better nutrition, and a much faster substrate colonization time when compared with inoculating it with a straight culture. I chose what I think are the three most common grains used both in light commercial and hobby mushroom growing, wheat, rye, and wild birdseed. Though millet and sorghum are the choice grains of the big spawn producers, it's not as widely available or economical to buy these grains in bulk in the UK when compared to other cereal grains. I broke the grain prep methods down into three categories. Soak and simmer, the process of soaking grain for 24 hours in water before simmering it for 10 to 20 minutes. Simmer only, the process of taking dried grain and rehydrating it by simmering it for 20 to 30 minutes. Soak only, the process of simply soaking grain for 24 hours. All of these methods are followed by sterilization in one form or another. If you're unfamiliar with different types of sterilizing, I wrote a blog entry about that. I'm sure there are other methods of preparing grain spawn, however I've never found a reason to search for alternatives. I measured out 9 50 gram pots of grain, so 3 of each type. I individually hydrated 6 of those pots for 24 hours in 400ml of warm, initially, water. To make it as fair as possible, I gave everything equal treatment. I started by simmering the simmer only grain for 25 minutes. Next I simmered the soak and simmer grains for 25 minutes. With the hydrate only grains I did nothing except drain them for 15 minutes on a sieve to remove any water piggybacking on them. I also allowed the grains that had been simmered to steam dry for the same reason. You can see their respective final weights next to them. From this so called experiment I now don't see the point of soaking grains in water for 24 hours before simmering them. For the fraction of extra hydration that the grains absorb it seems like an unnecessary step to give myself. Of course it's up to you how you prepare your grain. The time and energy saved by simply hydrating and sterilizing your grain may offset the possibility of slightly underperforming grain spawn. I hope this experiment helped other people asking the same questions about grain spawn. I'd be grateful if you subscribed and checked out my blog. I'll have a write-up about this experiment fairly soon. Cheers.